Opposition leader Bill Shorten has responded to claims people smugglers were paid to turn vessels back while Labor was in government. He says his party never paid them to turn boats around at sea, but he's refused to comment on whether it happened on land in Indonesia. Bill Shorten has also accused the government of trying to destroy bipartisanship on national security, saying a leaked briefing document undermines attempts to work together on the issue. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has again defended stripping dual nationals suspected of terrorism of their citizenship, calling it very sensible. The opposition so keen to ask questions of the government, dodging a few of their own. I'm saying I won't comment on ASIS matters. I'm not going to answer questions in respect of the conduct of ASIS. ASIS is the spy agency believed to have paid people smugglers to disrupt operations during Labor's time in office. I'm certainly not aware of that. Bill Shorten was not one of the ministers who would have been privy to briefings on ASIS. I would be very careful to rule in anything or rule out anything under Labor's watch. I think you're being set up. The payments are believed to have been made to stop boats leaving Indonesia. The opposition leader implying paying money to turn boats around would be a step further. Labor has never paid people smugglers to turn back boats. Uh, and that appears to be what the government is doing. I am confident that at all times Australian agencies have acted within the law. The door left open by both major parties that payments have occurred. We're effectively, if these allegations are true, in the people trafficking business. We've got a ruthless and callous government. We've got a complicit opposition. The government had looked all at sea over the people smuggler payment claims with senior ministers initially denying the story and then switching to a no comment. But now that the focus is also on Labor's time in office, the opposition is backing off its attacks. Bill Shorten acknowledging Labor's Achilles heel to his caucus colleagues. There were policies which saw uh, the people smugglers try and take advantage of Australia's generosity. When Labor was in government, they had completely and utterly lost control of our borders. It's a potent attack that could mean Labor ends up adopting many of the government's policies. The Greens say the end doesn't justify the means. You can't keep going down this line of saying, well, stopping the boats is enough. You've got to uphold the rule of law. Tom Connell, Sky News, Canberra.